Here we have a 2008 Audi TT TFSI convertible in silver, starting with the offside front tyre. Tread depth we're looking at around 3mm at the most there, not a great deal of tread. As we can see to the alloy itself, um, it is heavily corroded, they are a polished finish. So you can see a lot of corrosion around the outside edge of the alloy. There is some curbing in there as well, you can see some corrosion around the centre there, but all along the outside edge of the alloy you've got some curbing and corrosion, so definitely going to require a refurb there. Looking down at the offside of the bodywork itself, now it is looking very clean actually, I cannot see any signs of any dinks or dents. Around the offside front arch there's a couple of light scratches that require polish. Driver's mirror is in nice condition, driver's door itself again looks very well, bit of a scratch down there, may require some, um, some paint. Apart from that some light scratches down here will require polish. And you've got some light scratches on the door there, we'll polish out no problem. A couple of chips in the door edge are going to require some touchings. I'm moving towards the rear arch of the vehicle. Again, some chips in the paint there just started to rust. Apart from that, a couple of scratches around the rear quarter of the vehicle. And again, some uh, sort of marks here around the paintwork. Um, it looks like polish, but it doesn't seem to be coming off, so it might be a paint defect. So beware of that. And the rear tyre looking at a good 5mm there. Offside rear alloy, unfortunately, again, you can see a lot of curbing and corrosion around the outside edge of the alloy there. So again, going to require refurb. As you can see, they've got the cloth roof. It's not a hard top. You can see there is some mould and stuff um, along the roof there. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. Looking at the rear bumper of the vehicle, again you've got rear parking sensors, a couple of scratches around the back here will require polish, you've got some scratches around the plastics there, no signs of any damage at all, and looking in good order. Again you've got the electronic spoiler there, no uh, problem at all functioning that. Take a look inside the boot, again nice condition, just requires a, a good valet, doesn't appear to be uh, any spare wheel in there so beware of that. We ran some near side rear tyre, again looking at a good 4 to 5 mil, and the near side rear alloy, again a lot of corrosion there to the alloy and some curbing as well, so again refurb requires some scratches to the spokes etc. Looking down the near side of the vehicle, very light dink on this rear arch just there, as you can see, again very light, apart from that I can't spot any other dinks or dents, again some light scratches to the paintwork, one or two minor nicks in the door edge there, so again, just cosmetic marks really. Uh, mirrors in nice condition, a couple of scratches to the paintwork there and to the front arch. Front tyre around 3mm, and as you can see, very heavy kerb there on the near side front. So again, definitely going to require a refurb to this alloy. We run to the front end of the vehicle on the, uh, the near side front arch, you can see got some light scratches all the way down. Took the paint off there, but again, light scratches just underneath the headlight there, so it's had a good uh, a brush with another object, again some stone chips to the front end of the vehicle, no signs of any serious damage again, just going to require some touchings of paintwork there, a couple of stone chips to the bonnet as well, alongside some uh, light scratches. Take a look at the interior of the vehicle, if we just open up the vehicle, it has uh, locked itself, There we go, taking a look at the driver's seat, and you can see it's got a sort of grey leather interior. Um, some wearing to the seat itself, you can see on the bolster, you've got some age related marks there to the leather. Uh, no signs of any damage at all, but again, it's definitely shown some signs of age. Front passenger seat's a lot better. Dashboard etc isn't too bad. A couple of light scratches here and there, steering wheels showing some signs of age as well. Stepping inside the vehicle itself. Now we have only got one key with the vehicle, so just one key with the car. And just getting the vehicle started for you guys. No issues at all starting the vehicle to start first time. 69,310 miles on the clock. No symbols appearing on the dash at all. Car sounds great, runs nicely as well. Looking here, you've got CD and radio. No issues at all functioning that. Blowers again, as you can see, work perfectly fine. Air conditioning down there as well. And you've got your heated seats down there, which work great. Manual box. Um, quickly uh, flick the roof up, just to show you how quick it is. And to show that it does work. 
So you can see, very smooth, no issues at all. And there we go, that's done very quick, which is great. You've also got the uh, the electric sort of blind there as well, working perfectly fine. Taking a look at the uh, documents, looking at the V5 for the vehicle. The car's had three owners, so three owners on the vehicle, as we can see there. MOT, um, it has it got an expiry date of October 28th, 2015, so plenty on there. We're also looking at a full um, service history, as you can see a lot of Audi stamps, 14, 18, 20, 30. Uh, 40, cam belt done at 43 by the looks of things, 49 and again at 58,000 as his last service, full Audi service history as well which is spot on. But there we go guys, that is a lovely looking Audi, it's the 2008 Audi TT TFSI 2 litre petrol, uh, obviously the convertible. A couple of age related marks and exterior, nothing too serious, bit of polishing, bit of paint here and there and obviously it will require four wheel refurbs, uh, but lovely looking car for its age.